The YWCA's Holy House is a safe place for women to get the help they need, holistic help, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. And as Fox 8's Katie Nordine tells us, the Winston-Salem Foundation makes that help possible. From the outside, it looks like a typical house in Winston-Salem, but what happens inside this home is anything but ordinary. It's an important resource in this community because it's the only one in Forsyth County um, dedicated to women who are living with substance use disorder. This is YWCA's Holly House. It's a state accredited substance abuse recovery facility for women over 18 who've already gone through detox. Sometimes they need help with basic needs and health care. So we align them with medical professionals at the downtown health plaza who helps assess their medical needs and get them the help that they need. And while they're here at the house, they go through counseling, individual and group counseling for drug use. And when they leave the house, when they graduate from the program, they are in a place where they are self-sufficient. So they can, they can secure and keep uh, private housing. They don't need a lot of help with uh, basic needs, very minimal help. They're pretty self-sufficient and they've been clean for over 12 months. Casey Hammonds with the YWCA says the Winston-Salem Foundation's Women's Fund partners with the Holly House by providing scholarships for women to live here, get the help they need, and change their life course. The Holly House is really at the heart of our core mission. We're helping these women get back on their feet, get back to their families. A lot of times they've been, they have been separated from their children, and one of our main goals is to get them reunited with those kids. And we're just so proud of these women. They have taken their life into their own hands. They've been advocates for their own health and their own sobriety, and we're so proud. In Winston-Salem, Katie Nordine, Fox 8 News. And the Holly House does have room for nine women. There is a waiting list for it. Hammonds tells us that more than 90% of the women who go through the program stay substance-free after graduating.